I'm Ellen and I'm on third year applied food and nutrition course at UCB. My favourite module was actually in first year, um, it was the introduction to nutrition and that's when you really get down to like the nitty gritty of the micro and macronutrients, vitamins, minerals and how they actually all work in the body so we sort of went into that straight away and it was really fascinating. I was surprised actually just how broad the course is for whatever field you want to follow so if you want to go into food science we have modules that are based in the lab. If you like more cooking, we have um, some modules based in the kitchen, like food product development. Uh, food manufacture as well, we do quite a lot of work uh, in food manufacturing, food labelling. I love living in Birmingham because there's such a diverse range of food, like being a foodie and obviously on a nutrition course, and there's so many different cultures and such a wide variety of restaurants, cafes, bars, clubs, all available to you. So if you do fancy a quiet night at home, you cook for yourself, that's fine. Or if you do want to go out to socialise, you can do it any day of the week. So timetables do tend to change every year, so um, your contact days and times uh, will vary. But at the moment I'm only in uh, three days a week contact time for lectures. Uh, that will go down to two days a week after reading week in October. Um, that's just, you know, it's a basic dissertation um, introduction lecture, so that will phase out. But then it just gives you more time for your own research and your own study time to balance it up. Okay, so one of the trips we went on first year was to an organic dairy farm just to see how they produce and manufacture that. And we went to another farm close by which was a lamb farm and they support a lot of fresh local produce and they sell it and they have a, a cafeteria. So it was really interesting to see, you know, what their sort of stance on food manufacture was and how it's impacting local businesses. And we also first year went to Good Food Show Live at the NEC which was just brilliant. It was a really, it was a really, really good day, a whole day, lots of food stalls, free samples and uh, speeches as well, so that's really great. As far as trips go, we actually have another one coming up. Uh, we're going to be going down, hopefully, to Food Matters Live conference in London. Student places are limited, so we're still waiting for confirmation on that. But that's a huge event we're going to go down and get involved in. There's speeches, you know, and workshops, and a lot of professionals come together from all across the country to partake in this event. Okay, so the favourite thing about my course uh, is just the diversity of things that we actually do get up to. So if we want to go into more of the food manufacture and production, and we're in the kitchens, and you get to produce meals on a budget, and if you're in the lab, you know, you work really hands-on, you can actually see the nutritional science that goes behind what we're studying. UCB have really good links with the industry, so last year we had corn come in and we were working with menu development for meat-free recipes using corn products. So again, that was really interesting to look, you know, at how the corn industry has, you know, suddenly really taken off and how they've gotten food students involved in um, developing products for market. Uh, so the three words I'd use to sum up my course is interesting, that's for sure. Um, it's motivational, I find, once you do learn more about nutrition, you want to spread the word and take it on yourself. And thought-provoking, I'd add in, it was just a whole veil is lifted when you really look into nutrition and um, it's really interesting to take forward. Yeah.